Finally, we're going to look at how to embed our PowerPoint in Canvas. First, we're going to review a little bit to make sure that we have all the steps correct. We're going to have a PowerPoint that we've created. It's got the activities linked on it that students need to um, work on. It has the readings that they're going to read. And we're going to then go to File, Save, and Send. We're going to select Save to the Web. And up will pop the menu for SkyDrive. I'm going to send it to my documents in SkyDrive. It's going to give me a temporary storage for as it creates the PowerPoint into SkyDrive as it uploads. And then we should be able to go to SkyDrive. And there it is. Took a minute. Now I'm going to cl simply click on it. Make sure that the links are working, which they are. And then I'm going to go to the word File in the menu bar. Select the word Share. And I'm going to embed the PowerPoint. It's going to give me a code that I'm going to generate. And I'm going to select 722 by 565. That will be a good size for our Canvas document. I'm going to highlight the code and copy it. Then I'm going to go over to the course I have in Canvas. I've already created a module and I'm I'm going to add a page. A content page. It's going to be a new page. And we're going to call it PowerPoint. You can call it any name of the module you'd like, but for our sake, practicing, we're just going to call it PowerPoint. I'm going to open that PowerPoint page. I'm going to edit the page. And I'm going to switch views. So now we're in the HTML code view. But basically, all you do is right click and paste in that code that we took off of SkyDrive. I always like to switch views right now. It'll give you a box. I highlight the box and center it on Canvas. Then I click on Save Changes. In order to make the PowerPoint show up, I have to refresh the page. So I'm going to go over to here to the page menu, click on PowerPoint, and there's our SkyDrive. We only have one slide here. If we had more than one slide in our PowerPoint, students would use these arrows back at, down to the bottom to get back and forth. But let's see if our links work. And sure enough, they do. So now, students through Canvas can access all the materials that they might need for their work outside of class.